Coming up on KCTV, students are still struggling with the time change. And we have an inside look at the Centennial Cheer Team. All of this and more because KCTV starts right now. Okay, the neighbors think I'm selling dope. I guess the neighbors think I'm selling dope. Getting ready for state, I'm Bree. And I'm Kate. Welcome to KCTV. Cheerleaders have a few competitions springing into action here at Centennial. Alex Flores has a scoop. Five, six, seven, down, one, up, three. Five, wrap, seven, one, hit, three, and five, full, seven. A spirited way to begin the morning. That's one way of looking at the Centennial Cheer Team as they get ready for this weekend's state championships. We have a really good team. Um, we're really excited about state. Our Palmer team is by far going to place very well at state this year. And our Sherwood team, we're really hoping we can step it up um, and place in the top three. And if you were to observe the morning practice, you would see the unity among the team members, where together they stand and together they fall. We spend so much time together, we become like a family, and honestly, these girls and guys have become some of my um, best friends. And when I look back on high school, I'm definitely gonna remember the 5.45 a.m. practices in the gym, the late nights practicing our routines. I'm gonna remember competition day. Among the pyramids and tumbles, the cheerleaders have the heart of champions, where life is anything but routine. I think I did it just because cheerleaders are always really happy, so <laughs> I'm a pretty happy person, so that's why I did cheer. They're incredible kids. They're willing to work hard. They get up every morning at 5.30 and come to practice by 5.45 every day. That takes dedication. The cheerleading state competition is this Saturday at the Ford Idaho Center. Centennial's team hopes that you will attend and cheer them on. Alex Flores, KCTV, Centennial High School. Something's off at Centennial. Scott and Carly have the deeds. I know you can't tell, but the fire sprinkler above me is vibrating. What could have caused this anomaly? Clearly, the spirits are trying to tell us that we should not be here. I think that um, by infiltrating the water system, that they are going to destroy all the plumbing in the school, and they're trying to warn us that we need to get out now. This is most definitely vibrating. I can feel it. Sounds like there's a lot of water pressure buildup. <laughs> We may need to evacuate. The only experience I've had with fire sprinklers is uh, several years ago when the kid thought he would be the hero and went in the bathroom and broke the glass on one and like 10 years old water like squirted all over him and rather than getting everybody out of school for the day he just got himself soaked in sludge and committed a federal crime and went to jail. That was kind of cool. Lastly, daylight savings start in March 12th. For most people it has messed up their vision in the morning. Be careful driving and walking in the morning to Centennial. daylight savings time. It still feels like it's really early and I need my beauty sleep and this is really tough and I don't know if I'll ever get over it. Driving at night is dangerous. School should be pushed back an hour or we should cancel daylight savings time. And that's KCTV for today. I'm Bree and I'm Kate. Have a great day.